Over the next few weeks, Al tries to get used to living alone. It was a pretty rough time for me. I was so excited about having a new house, a new beginning, really. There was so much stuff in the house left by the previous owners that I found things constantly that I didn't even realize that they had left behind. One day when I was cleaning up, I found a manila envelope. And I thought it was going to be like tax papers or something like that. I was going to throw it away, but my curiosity got the most of me. What? It was poems about various things in life. As I read more and more of them, they started to get darker. A lot of the poems were about suicide, laying on the concrete floor, blood coming from their mouth. Laying on a concrete floor, wanting to get out, get away. But darkness and death surround me. Haunted by the ghosts. That mouth. That wide, gaping mouth. That wide, gaping mouth. Dripping in blood. I thought maybe it was written by somebody who had lived in the house. She described dark things happening in her life, and she no longer wanted to live. I am gone. And it was obviously a tormented person. I started hearing footsteps down the hallway. You could hear the cracking of the floorboards, like somebody was walking down the hallway very heavy. I wasn't alone. Somebody was in the house. Didn't find anybody, didn't see anything. Found myself living in a dark house. And a house that had dark secrets, maybe.